y'all been ballin' since the sixth grade. Hearings was so big, couldn't even see my damn. Did you get the mixtape? Ball and no NBA. I be ballin' out with that bobble with that damn switch. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy C Ball Out, man. We back with another video. Hey, man. Today, I'm back with part two. Like, you won't believe the story behind this shoe, man. I got some heat today for y'all, bro. And I got so some, you know, a few little decent little stories behind these shoes, bro. Today, as uh, if y'all go watch, if y'all haven't already watched the first video, go watch that. But um, what's it called? Y'all seen the second row was full of retros. A lot of the, you know, 11s, 12s, 13s. So, break down that. I'm gonna talk about the little story behind those shoes. Some, some, you know, real small, couple aesthetic, little, uh, little, I don't know. You know, uh, what's that called? Uh, what's it called? Um, something talk, bro. Whatever the fuck it's called, but. Uh, Alright, man, I'm done with all that chitter chat. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Because, hey, you don't want to miss some of these lit videos that's coming in the future, bro. Because I'm going to be back on the yard in, what's that, two, three months. So I'm doing all the public interviews, all that good shit. But, uh, alright, like I said, that's enough of that chitty chat. Let's get this video. First shoe I'm talking about today is these Gamma 11. Y'all see my shit still crispy, bro. These new shoes came out when I was. I think a freshman in high school, bro. But man, the story behind these is easy. One morning I had a um, look, I had a, I had a uh, basketball team. I mean, I had a game, freshman year, and they had came out on the Saturday. I had a Saturday game, bro. So you know how the sneakers used to go. You used to uh, what's it called? You have to get on the internet, bro. Try that or go wait in line. But me having a game, I couldn't. I couldn't go sit in line, bro. And then when they dropped, it was during my game. So I knew it was damn near over with for these shoes. I knew it was over with. I'm like, bro. I'm not gonna be able to get these shoes. So I went and played my game. I went crazy, bro. We won the game. And then, um, what's it called? I had, we went back to the school on the team bus with you. My OG came and picked me up. We got back to the crib and shit. Bro, I walked in my room. Why was the shoes sitting on my bed, bro? Gee, my mom, she went to success in Chicago and she went and bought these shoes for me, bro. She stood in line in the cold. Remember, this is this is a winter drop, bro. So she stood in the cold line for me, bro, and got me these 11s. And that's why I love my mama so much, bro. And you, obviously, this is one of my favorite pair of shoes. She be trying to bam off me because they still in pristine condition. But I'd be like, nah, bro. These stand with me. Okay. Next on the list, we got the bread 11s, bro. So when these originally a drop line, I won them. I was in eighth grade, bro. And back then it was more or less like the, everybody was trying to get them online. So G, I remember they dropped while I was supposed to be in school. I think they had dropped on like a Friday or something. So my mom, she let me stay home in eighth grade, bro, a little bit late. And I didn't get the shoes. Like I went to school, I went to school, I went to school a little bit late, bro, and wasn't able to get the shoes at all, G. But they dropped in 2019, bro. And your boy came up, Jen. Like, like I said, bro, I like to keep it real retro. -y. Like shoes that he wore, I love shoes like like all the, the retros that he actually wore, bro. So these these was a instant pickup. And I was so uh, lucky to get them this year on sneakers, bro. Cause you know sneakers is a horrible app, bro. But somehow I luckily got these, bro. And these my babies, bro. Y'all see they still hella crispy, bro. But I wear my shoes. No DS. Y'all see that? No DS. I wear my shoes. Next on the list, y'all. Is these flu game 12s y'all this was a must bro i remember when i had got these g i stood the first time i got them bro i sat in line bro literally they dropped on they dropped on saturday i literally sat in line from nine o'clock on friday to 9 a.m on Saturday, bro. I had got them from downtown, bro, at the uh, the Jordan store. A lot of people know what the Jordan store is, bro. Me and my cousin, we slept outside for these, bro. And I low-key, when we pulled up, I had got scared because, bro, the line was hella long. I'm like, gee, I'm not finna get these shoes, bro. And I, I had to beg my mom to luckily be able to go out there on that Friday. I had to beg her, but she ended up taking me, uh, me and my cousin, G. So, I, like I said, the line was long when we pulled up. So, I'm like, damn, bro, I'm not finna get these shoes. Literally. The, like, and when it started getting closer for the store to open up, the line went down the block, around the corner, bro. But at the Jordan store, I guess they must. It's obviously the Jordan store, so they gonna have multiple pairs of shoes. So I was 
lucky enough to go ahead and grab this size 11 in these flu games, bro. And this is another, bro, this is another grill, bro. Like, I love the retro, I gotta keep them. And guess what? Y'all know what's next. That them grill 13s, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, these kinda, they in between them, they don't know if they wanna be beat up or they, they wanna be crispy, but. I kind of hooped in these a little bit, but bro, these the bread 13s, bro, I didn't really know the story behind these, bro. I had got these when I was working at Champ, so I had got transferred from the Champs in Chicago to the Champs in Houston. And, uh, what's it called? I think I paid like 140 for these, bro. Like, this was a stain, bro. Obviously, this is a grill, bro. You can't go wrong with the bread 13s, classic OG colorway, man. Um, I love these shoes, and Lily, it's crazy. I had copies, bro, bro. My first day in Houston. The mall I got these from, I seen Meek Mill, bro. He was in the fucking mall, bro. Like, I'll try to, if I should find that video, I'll drop that video, bro. But Meek Mill was in this bitch, bro. And um, I got these shoes and seen Meek Mill. Y'all know what these is, man. These them he got games, G. Y'all know, bro, I love my retro. But, hey, if y'all was watching that Last Dance documentary, bro, y'all seen these hoes quite often because MJ was doing his thing in these. But... I don't really know like raw story behind these either, bro. Uh, what's it called? I had got these when I was working at Shambles that two years ago, so 2018, bro. Paid one like 140 for these again, bro. But I just I love iconic shoes, bro. And Denzel, Denzel Ray Allen made this hella iconic, bro. MJ hooping in the playoffs, bro. Hella comfortable. You can't go wrong with these, bro. You can't go wrong with the 13, bro. I love 13. People try to hate on say they fat, but. You know how to look lace them the right way, bro, and you know what kind of jeans, whatever the weather, shorts, whatever. You would make these hoes pop. Booyah. Come on, man. Hey, for the people that's paying attention, y'all see it's going to order. But these are cherry 13s, man. I had got these for a hundred dollars, y'all. When I was working at Champs, bro, in uh, Chicago, when we had got the 50% uh, discount, boy, I made sure to grab these, bro. I had to grab these, um, what's it called, these Cherry 13s, bro. Another iconic shoe, if you watch Last Dance, this was definitely in it, bro. Um, I just love the, the, the silhouette, bro, the the red the red and the white, bro. You can't go wrong, you can throw this, you can wear this with literally anything, bro. You can wear this, this colorway with anything. I'm wet. Another stain, man, $100, bro. I got these shoes for $100. DS from Champs. Love my shoes, y'all. If y'all can't tell, and I wear them all. Yes, sir. Listen, y'all. Bam! Come on, man. These last shot 14s, bro. I know if y'all watch Last Dance, y'all definitely seen these, boy. This is this is the shoe Michael Jordan took his last shot of the Chicago Bull in, bro. You can't go wrong with these, bro. Like, I, let's go with the fit again. I'll be wearing these with the skinny jeans, bro. I'll, they, I'll just be fleet. Well, the story behind these, when did I get these? I got these working in Champs again. I mean, working in Foot Action, uh, what was that, two summers ago again, man. Like, I paid, no, I ain't gonna lie, I paid full price. I was thirsty for these. I ain't have my discount cards yet, bro. So I had to take the two, what was that, the 219 over the head, bro. 210 over the head, bro. But it was worth it, though, bro. I couldn't miss out. I've been one these since, like, freshman year of high school, bro. And I really, I don't know, started really paying attention. Like, I started seeing other people around me with the mics, bro. Like, in high school, bro, everybody was paying over crazy amounts of shoes, bros. So when I would see people with these, I'm like, bro, I need the 14s. A lot of people hate on the 14s. That's how to say the 14s ugly, but I'm telling you, if you lace these the right way, bro, these shoes are beautiful. Last, but not least, one of my favorite Jordans, bro. People try to get me to sell this shoe all the time. They always throw me prices, but I can't go. It's these right here. These Ferrari 14s, y'all. I've literally had these for about, what is that, six, seven years. When, when, I can't, when did these come out? They came out 14, bro. So I've had these shoes for about 16 years, bro. I mean, talking about 16, six years. This is one of my favorite shoes, bro. And the story behind this one is, Jay, I literally... I went to the mall on Saturday, bro. They had them, but you know, I was like, y'all got a size of 11 in them Ferraris? He was like, yeah, let me go in the back. But I was shocked, though. I'm like, merch, they merch. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and they still got a pair of Ferrari 14s. Like, what the hell? So I looked at them, and me knowing I ain't had no cheese, I, I gave them back to him, I'm like, bro, all right, I'm gonna come back. He was like, all right. Took them back to the back. He already knew what that meant. So then, 
oh man, I'm chilling, bro. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna still have them. Uh, what's it called? They gonna have them tomorrow. I called the store on Sunday, and they was like, nah, bro, we sold out. So my heart started. I start, I start calling all the stores, bro, all of them. They was like, nah, bro, we sold out. We sold out. We sold out. So then I called Chance, bro. Chance was the last store I called, bro. I was like, hey, please tell me y'all got a size 11 in them for right first thing. She was like, um, yeah, we had one size left. One size left. I instantly told my mom, she was like, where are they at? I'm like, Schomburg Mall. She's like, tell them to put them on hold, we on the way. We full up the bro. What's it called? They still had the shoe. Like I got in the shoe sitting behind the counter, bro. And it was history for me, bro. These my favorite jewels, bro. I love these Ferrari 14s. You see, they still crispy, bro. Still clean. And yeah, man. That's that on that. But man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, bro. My little sneaker collection, what I got in Houston with me, bro. Um, if y'all new to this channel, bro, make sure y'all like, bro. Make sure y'all subscribe, G. Make sure y'all comment, bro. Turn on post notifications. Bro, it's only up from here, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, bro. I'm finna grind for y'all, bro. I'm finna put that work in while I'm just sitting in my apartment in Houston, bro. Put that work in, because I'm on the way to the top, baby. I got that, I got that ambition. I got that fire up under me, bro. So I'm finna gonna put it to work bro I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah i'm running you hear me but uh like i always say at the end of the day you gotta make a play all right we go